Hi, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to optimize an image in Adobe Fireworks. And it's very useful to do this to an image before you put it into a flash animation. The problem with using large images is that they will make your animation much larger in terms of its file size. Um, and it's not efficient to use large images anyway. And you'll even if you shrink the image within the animation by dragging it from the corner, like you might when you edit an image in Word or PowerPoint or something, that doesn't actually change the file size of the image. It's deceptive. People think it does, but it doesn't have any effect on that. So you can see the size of this image is 2,400 pixels by 1,600. And if we look at the image in Google Images, this is the same one where I got it from from an image search. You can see it's 944 kilobytes. So that's pretty large for an image that we're going to use inside an animation, which will have other graphics and things added to it as well. So we're going to try and reduce the size of that image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change physically the file size. So I'm going to go modify canvas image size, and I don't need nearly that amount of uh, that, that size image it's going to be shrunk considerably down if it's going to go in an advert so the first thing I'm going to do is change my pixel dimensions from pixels to percent because I think it's easier to, to work in percent and you know you've got the hundred percent means image is full size so if I want to reduce it I'm going to take it down to 40 percent and that makes the image smaller so if we were to resave that image now the dimensions would now be 960 by 640. What I could also do though is I could try and work at reducing the file size of the image. So if I go to export wizard and I'm going to go select and export format continue and I'm going to go ask for the web and then exit. Now at the moment what I can do is I can change Remember, it was our original image was 944 kilobytes. If I go back into Fireworks and within the export wizard, I can change the type of graphic, and that will have an it is, and that will have an effect on the size of the image. If I go to a GIF web snap, 256, and look, at, give 256, and look at that, 97 kilobytes. 94. What it will do, a GIF is a lower quality than a JPEG. It stores less color information. But you won't notice a substantial amount of difference. The user, if they're actually going to look at this on a flash animation, particularly if it's reduced in size, will not see the difference. So you could actually try changing by changing there you go JPEG smaller file. you can also change the JPEG to a JPEG in a smaller file size as well if we wanted to do that you can change it to a better quality or smaller file and then you can also adjust the quality levels and then you can see that that hasn't it doesn't really have that much of an effect but now we've got 25 that's reasonable quality and I'm I've decided that I'm going to go for the slightly lower quality JPEG and I'm going to make it 42. Okay, so I'm going to export now my image. I'm going to call it iPad 4 smaller. I'm going to save it onto my desktop and in a moment we'll come back to the image and we'll look at it compared to the image we got from Google Documents. Okay, so here is the image that we had before. Okay, it's 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 zoomed up so that we can see in more detail. It looks like it's the same image, but if you have a look down here, you can see it's the one I saved to my desktop. Desktop iPad 4 smaller, and you can see the size of the image was as we made it 960 by 640 pixels, but now it has shrunk to 41 kilobytes, so it's much much smaller. And that's far more useful and far more appropriate to a, to include an image of that size in our work. If we go back to fireworks, you can see that's the image that we've exported to Picasa. 
and compare it to the original one that we had on the web 2400 by 1600 944 kilobytes so we've used a much more efficient way of using images within flash and that will allow us to work at a higher level and it will also allow you to use images more efficiently so the process we've just demonstrated is called optimizing so we've changed the physical size of the image on screen and we've changed the file size as well so that it's smaller have a go at optimizing images yourself and if you need to come back to the tutorial watch it again to show you how I did it